welcome back in part two of Harley Davidson. The classic Harley Davidson engines are V twin engines with a 45 degree angle between the cylinders. <laughs> the crankshaft has a single pin, but both pistons are connected to this pin through their connecting rods. This 45-degree angle is covered under several United States patents and is an engineering trade-off that allows a large, high-torque engine in a relatively small space. <laughs> it causes the cylinders to fire at uneven intervals and produces the choppy, potato-potato sound so strongly linked to the Harley-Davidson brand. To simplify the engine and reduce costs, the V-twin ignition was designed to operate with a single set of points and no distributor. <laughs> this is known as a dual fire ignition system, causing both spark plugs to fire regardless of which cylinder was on its compression stroke. With the other spark plug firing on its cylinder's exhaust stroke, effectively wasting a spark. <sighs> The exhaust note is basically a throaty growling sound with some popping. <laughs> the 45 degree design of the engine thus creates a plug firing sequencing as such. The first cylinder fires the second rear. Cylinder fires 315 degree later then there is a 405 degree gap until the first cylinder fires again, giving the engine its unique sound. Harley Davidson has used various ignition systems, including the early points and condenser system on Big Twins and Sportsters up to 1978, a magneto ignition system used on some 1958 to 1969 Sportsters, an early electronic with centrifugal mechanical advance weights on all models from mid 1978 until 1979, and a later electronic with a transistorized ignition control module more familiarly known as a black box or a brain on all models 1980 to present. Starting in 1995, the company introduced electronic fuel injection, EFI, as an option for the 30th anniversary edition Electroglide. <laughs> EFI became standard on all Harley-Davidson motorcycles, including Sportsters, upon the introduction of the 2007 product line. In 1991, Harley-Davidson began to participate in the Sound Quality Working Group, founded by Orfield Labs, Roland Pierre, TEAC, Yamaha, Sennheiser, SNS, and Cortex. This was the nation's first group to share research on psychological acoustics. <sighs> Later that year, Harley Davidson participated in a series of sound quality studies at Orfield Labs, based on recordings taken at the Talladega Super Speedway, with the objective to lower the sound level for EU standards while analytically capturing the Harley sound. This research resulted in the bikes that were introduced in compliance with EU standards for 1998. On February 1, 1994, the company filed a sound trademark application for the distinctive sound of the Harley-Davidson motorcycle engine. The mark consists of the exhaust sound of applicants' motorcycles, produced by V-Twin, common cranked in motorcycle engines when the goods are in use. Nine of Harley-Davidson's competitors filed comments opposing the application, arguing that cruiser-style motorcycles of various brands use a single cranked in V-twin engine, which produce a similar sound. These objections were followed by litigation. <laughs> In June 2000, the company dropped efforts to register a sound trademark. Big V Twins are FN, also known as JD, pocket valve and IOE, and takeover exhaust, 1914 to 1929, 1000 cubic capacity, and 1922 to 1929, 1200 cubic capacity. Flathead, 1930 to 1949, 1,200 cubic capacity, and 1935 to 1941, 1,300 cubic capacity. 
Propaganda. 1936 to 1947, 61 cubic inch, 1,000 cubic capacity. And 1941 to 1947, 74 cubic inch, 1,200 cubic capacity. Canada, 1948 to 1965, 61 cubic inch, 1,000 cubic capacity. And 1948 to 1965, 74 cubic inch, 1,200 cubic capacity. Shovelhead, 1966 to 1984, 74 cubic inch, 1,200 cubic capacity, and 80 cubic inch, 1,338 cubic capacity, since late 1978. Evolution, a.k.a. Evo and Blockhead, 1984-1999, 80 cubic inch, 1,340 cubic capacity. Twin Cam, a.k.a. Fathead, as named by American Iron Magazine, 1999-2017, in the following versions. Twin Cam 88, 1999-2006, 88 cubic inch, 1,450 cubic capacity. Twin Cam 88B, counterbalanced version of the Twin Cam 88, 2000 to 2006, 88 cubic inch, 1450 cubic capacity. Twin Cam 95, since 2000, 95 cubic inch, 1550 cubic capacity, engines for OECV old models. Twin Cam 96, since 2007. Twin Cam 103, 2003 to 2006, 2009, 103 cubic inch, 1690 cubic capacity, engines for CVO models. Standard on 2011 touring models, ultra limited, road chain classic and road glide ultra and optional, on the road glide custom and street glide. Standard on most 2012 models excluding Sportsters and two Dynas, Street Pop and Super Glide Custom. Standard on all 2014 Dyna models. And Twin Cam 110, 2007 to 2017, 110 cubic inch, 1800 cubic capacity, engines for CVO models. 2016 Soft Tail Slim S, Fat Boy S, Low Rider S, and Pro Street Breakout. And Milwaukee 8. Standard 107 cubic inches, 1746 cubic capacity, standard on touring model year 2017 plus and Soft Tail models 2018 plus. Twin cooled 107 cubic inches, 1,746 cubic capacity, optional on some touring and track model year 2017 plus. Twin cooled 114 cubic inches, 1,868 cubic capacity, optional on touring and track model year 2017 plus, standard on 2017 CVO models. And twin. Cooled 117 cubic inches, 1,923 cubic capacity, standard on 2018 CVO models. Small V Twin R, D model, 1929 to 1931, 750 cubic capacity. R model, 1932 to 1936, 750 cubic capacity. Flathead 750 cubic capacity. 1937 to 1952 W model solar two wheel. And 1932 to 1973 G model survey car three wheeler. K model 1952 to 1953 750 cubic capacity. KH model 1954 to 1956 900 cubic capacity. Ironhead, 1957 to 1971, 883 cubic capacity, 1972 to 1985, 1000 cubic capacity. An evolution, since 1986, 883 cubic capacity, 1100 cubic capacity and 1200 cubic capacity. The revolution.
Evolution Engine is based on the VR-1000 Super Bike Race Program, developed by Harley Davidson's powertrain engineering, with Porsche helping to make the engine suitable for street use. In an all-liquid cool, two overhead cam, internally counterbalanced 60-degree V-twin engine with a displacement of 69 cubic inch, 1,130 cubic capacity. Producing 115 horsepower, 86 kilowatts, at 8,250 RPM at the crank, with a red line of 9,000 RPM. It was introduced for the new VRSC V-Rod line in 2001 for the 2002 model year, starting with a single VRSCA V-Twin Racing Street Custom model. <laughs> The revolution marks Harley's first collaboration with Porsche since the V4 Nova project, which, like the V-Rod, was a radical departure from Harley's traditional lineup until it was cancelled by AMF in 1981 in favor of the Evolution engine. A 1,250 cubic capacity Screaming Eagle version of the Revolution engine was made available for 2005 and 2006 and was present thereafter in a single production model from 2005 to 2007. <laughs> In 2008, the 1,250 cubic capacity revolution engine became standard for the entire VRSC line. Harley Davidson claims 123 horsepower, 92 kilowatts at the crank for the 2008 VRSC AW model. The VRXSE Destroyer Drag Bike is equipped with a Stroker 75mm crank, Screaming Eagle 79 cubic inch, 1,300 cubic capacity. The Revolution Engine, producing 97 pound feet, 132 newton meters, and more than 165 horsepower, 123 kilowatts. 750 cubic capacity and 500 cubic capacity versions of the Revolution engine are used in Harley Davidson Street line of light cruisers. These motors, named the Revolution X, use a single overhead cam, screw and lock nut valve adjustment, a single internal counterbalancer, and vertically split crank cases. All of these changes making it different from the original Revolution design. An extreme endurance test of the Revolution engine was performed in a dynamometer installation at the Harley-Davidson factory in Milwaukee, simulating the German Autobahn highways without general speed limit. Between the Porsche Research and Development Center in Wysak, near Stuttgart to Dusseldorf. <laughs> An undisclosed number of samples of engines failed until an engine successfully passed the 500-hour non-stop run. <sighs> this was the benchmark for the engineers to approve the start of production for the Revolution engine, which was documented in the Discovery Channel special Harley-Davidson, birth of the v October 14, 2001. The first Harley-Davidson motorcycles were powered by single-cylinder IOE engines with the inlet valve operated by engine vacuum, based on the Dudai and Vuton pattern. <laughs> Singles of this type continued to be made until 1913, when a pusher and rocker system was used to operate the overhead inlet valve on the single. A similar system having been used on their V-twin since 1911. Single-cylinder motorcycle engines were discontinued in 1918. Single-cylinder engines were reintroduced in 1925 as 1926 models. <laughs> These singles were available either as flathead engines or as overhead valve engines until 1930, after which they were only available as flatheads. The flathead single-cylinder motorcycles were designated Model A for engines with magneto systems only and Model B for engines with battery and coil systems. 
while overhead valve versions were designated Model A and Model D A respectively, and a Magneto-only racing version was designated Model S. This line of single-cylinder motorcycles ended production in 1934. We will continue about Harley-Davidson in Part 3. Stay tuned.